from the artist. My Instagram is at rem underscore the underscore artist. And my website is www.remtheartist.com. Mm-hmm. And what kind of art do you, do you focus on? Focus on mo- mostly portraits, um, sometimes animals, landscapes here and there, but mostly portraits. That's my focus. And where did you go to school to learn um, everything you know right now? Um, well, I've been drawing since forever, but I went to Maryland Institute College of Art mm-hmm. for college. What medium yeah. do you like? What like what do you use? Oils or do you acrylics? I use acrylics, mm-hmm. only acrylics. I don't really like oil too much. Yeah. And during COVID, uh, did it really affect you during COVID, uh, doing your art and everything? Yeah, um, during COVID, it, it kind of, uh, with everything going on, it, it I, I wasn't really motivated to paint mm-hmm. or create as much. Yeah. With everything going on, because I it was just like um, you know with with uh, the stores um, not having enough food and, and running out of toilet paper, people fight. You know, this is chaos. So I I wasn't really into that. I, I started getting motivated when they started protesting, mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. that that's when I started to get a little bit more motivated with yeah. the whole. That, that was George Floyd, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was going on during that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, with the pandemic stuff, nah, I was I was turned off from drawing. I was just trying to figure out what was going on. Yeah. Out here. And how do you? Like survival mode. How do, yeah. yeah, totally. And how did you? How are you doing now? Like, what are you working on now to get your art out there and um, pushing it? Um. Well, towards. Well, I guess not the end of the pandemic because it's not over, but towards like when things started uh, opening back up, I started doing shows. Um, I did some shows at Fable Studios. I just did one recently at Escape to New York in Brooklyn. Um, Saturday, I just passed. Uh, what I'm working on now, um, I just did a Mike Tyson. Um, I did some Native, Native Americans and some Africans. Uh, I'm sure you'll show it, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to start to keep myself busy. Yeah, and what, moment. like, what, uh, wh- how, how do you choose like your topic and your subjects that you want to paint? Um, that comes from reading, it comes from you know, looking at documentaries, it could be something that I, I uh, see on Instagram or wherever, mm-hmm. and it just go down that rabbit hole and I'm just enlightened by something and it just motivates me to create something based on that. Yeah. That hopefully, um, you know, I can build on with somebody when they see it or educate somebody on, you know, whatever I'm, I did create it. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get in, how do you get into the zone? Um, honestly, sometimes I just, like, you mean what motivates me to get, to start yeah, painting? Get, yeah, to start painting or get into it to finish it. Okay. I try to, uh, let me say this. Usually I'll set up everything and, and I'll, eventually I'll just start <laughs> jumping mm-hmm. to it, start painting. Yeah. But, um, like I said, if it's and that's on my mind, like, you know, I just put it together, how I put it together, and then, you know, start painting it. Yeah, yeah. Now, so the last thing, uh, do you have any advice for um, artists who, like, younger people or someone who's starting out? Um, the advice I would give is just to just don't give up, you know, regardless of what people may say or to deter you from your dreams or just being creative because a lot of people may have some input on your life that's not really productive for you you know yeah i personally some family and friends you know when i say i want to paint or draw is like you know 
they rather me be a doctor or whatever. But um, yeah, just don't give up. Yeah. Just keep going. Yeah. I want to get better and get to where you're supposed to go. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Totally agree. Keep creating. Yeah. You got to keep going. You got to follow your, uh, your passion. Definitely. Don't stop mm-hmm. at all. Yep. Well, thank you very much for stopping by the little podcast. I appreciate you uh, chatting with us and giving us uh, some advice. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.